Let's, uh, let's get underway. Um, first of all, welcome to this. It's actually our 10th um, forum, so our uh, 11th Finding Petroleum event, because we had a conference back in January for a day and a half. And this is our 10th one um, on the topic of um, uh, emerging uh, deep water areas. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a minute. But I just wanted to draw your attention to the, uh, the safety um, alarm issues and cloakroom. Um, they would never schedule a practice fire alarm when we're actually in here having a conference. Therefore, you can reasonably assume that anything we hear means that there is some sort of real emergency. Um, there are um, three uh, escape routes really um, marked here. One there, one at the back, one at the back. And then, of course, you can go back through the door through which most of you came. The, the assembly point is in front of the Royal Academy, uh, which is uh, just around the corner and in the piazza there. Uh, you stand a significant risk of being drowned by the new display that they have in there, but um, if you can keep out of the way of that, that's where we, we gather. Um, somewhere in here, it does mention the washrooms, um, a relevant issue. Obviously, they are rather small and, and twee at the Geological Society. It's a sort of nifty way of getting me into the point that we've... Because we've got one more talk than we normally have, um, I've scheduled the uh, start slightly later, so there's a bit more time for tea and coffee first thing. And then we're going to stop at, instead of stopping for a coffee break at um, 11 o'clock, we're going to stop for lunch and coffee and refreshments at 11.30 and take a break then. Um, we do... Um, as has become our uh, tradition and uh, won't uh, have a prize draw at uh, just after the last talk. And I believe we've also arranged to have some coffee and tea available when we're finished at 2 o'clock. But that's the rough schedule for the day. I hope you all, you all have an uh, agenda in front of you. Um, what I had in mind uh, when I started devising um, this forum three or four months ago was to start thinking about how important deep water uh, exploration and production is in a global sense, um, where there is left to go uh, to explore for, uh, in deep waters. Um, you know, I personally had a mistaken view five or six years ago that we were running out of um, new areas to explore. And then, you know, along came uh, Ghana, for example, in which uh, Tullow, oil where I'm involved is, uh, is involved and the uh, subsalt province in, in uh, Brazil um, and continual success in uh, Angola and of course um, the Gulf of Mexico which we I'm sure we'll talk about some more. So my idea was where are the new areas? I, I once like many uh, people uh, in BP before me promised to drink all the oil that would be found in the Falkland Isles. Um, um, I'm beginning to wonder whether that was the smartest thing I've ever said. Um, but, you know, I had half a mind uh, six or nine months ago that maybe we were gonna, uh, running out of new deep water areas uh, to explore. But nonetheless, you still people, see people talking about the Falklands and Greenland and New Zealand and uh, you know, the Lord Howe Rise and so on and so forth. So plenty of places. And what I've done today is try and assemble a, uh, a group of talks that talks about deep water exploration and production in its global context, emerging areas. And, and we have a, a fascinating talk at the end from Tony Bamford, to whom I am not related. And uh, I wish to um, discount the rumour that you need to be related to me in some way to be invited to speak here. It's certainly not true. And he comes from a completely different part of the world as well. I mean, it's just, what a ridiculous idea. Um, but to get us started, Neil uh, McMahon from uh, Bernstein's will kick us off in what has become his usual polished and inimitable style. <laughs> 